Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this Craven flavor, I love the name, three cheese mini pizza bagels. These are Monterey cheddar, sorry, mozzarella cheddar and Monterey Jack cheeses. I'll switch those. Topped with mini, topped mini pizza bagel halves. So it's got mozzarella, cheddar, and Monterey Jack cheeses on top of a bagel. Uh, made with real cheeses. There are nine pizza bagels in the box. Nine, uh, seven ounces, 198 grams. I really cannot talk today. Seven ounces. 198 grams in the box for all nine. We bought these at Save-A-Lot, it's $2.19. They are not a Save-A-Lot brand, so it's not specific to Save-A-Lot, but that just happens to be where we found them. Let's see. So you eat four pieces, 180 calories. If you eat all nine of them, it's 410 calories. And there's your other info. So you can do this in the uh, conventional oven, which they actually say this is the preferred method. You can do it in a toaster oven, which we're not going to do that one either. Or you can do it in the microwave. And the microwave it says for a softer bagel. So you're going to definitely make a softer bagel, probably a more chewy bagel. So we're going to remove the tray from the box and remove wrapper. Place the mini bag bagels in the crisping tray on top of the box and place in microwave oven. Cook nine bagels on high power for two and a half minutes and then let them sit for a minute or two and that's it. So did I have a pull? I thought I felt the whole time. Yeah. So what you're going to do is take this out. I'm pretty sure I said save a lot. I know I said that. $2.19. Oh, I think that's too expensive. So take your box and you're going to turn it like this to where you, you can put this tray on top. And then we're going to take this tray and we're going to open the plastic. Sorry for the noise. Yeah, and we're going to put this tray on top of that and we're going to microwave them just like that in the crispy tray. So I will be back once they come out. All right, so here they are out of the microwave and I usually just take a fork and uh, or if you've got a knife, that's fine too. And just go underneath of them because they tend to, they tend to stick to this aluminum, but don't stab it too much because you'll pull the aluminum or the little foil sheet out of it because it's just paper. But they tend to stick to this really, really bad. Come on for it. Time to escape. Yeah, if they pop like that, that's good because that means they come they're coming right off. But then you get some of it just sticks. So you some of your some of your bagel just stays on the bottom forever. It now lives there. Nothing I can do about it. Yeah, that one's gonna stick really bad. So anyway, ooh, that one popped right up. That one I already got. And again, you wouldn't have this problem in an oven, of course. In the oven, you know, you're, they're gonna they're gonna bake. I don't even think you bake them on this tray. I think you take them out and put them on a on a sheet. There we go, and one more. So anyway, I'm going to let these um, not cool off too long, but just let them cool off just a little bit, and I'll be back to try them out. All right, just let them cool off for a minute, not not too long. So I'm gonna grab one. Uh, I'm gonna grab one on the edge. They're very, very, very soft, the bagels are. So you're uh, missing out on that crispy bagel shell. And what was crispy probably stuck to the tray, honestly. So here we go. Hmm. I just ate the whole thing, it was easier. Um, not a bad. Not a bad texture. It, it is soft. It's kind of chewy. Not really, well, maybe a little doughy, but not like wet doughy. It's just a little like chewy doughy. Um, not quite as, as chewy as a bagel is traditionally. They're okay. I, I can see where the oven is definitely the preferred method because you give them a little crispy. Because like I'm trying to peel this this uh, piece of bagel that's stuck on the bottom, like that piece. When you eat a really crispy piece of the bagel, it's really good. I really enjoy that texture. In the microwave, they get really chewy um, and almost tough texture. So I wouldn't do these in the microwave. They may be fine in the oven, but in the microwave, they they don't do very well. I mean, they're edible, but they're not like 
pleasurable for me to eat. They may unless you like a really soft dough. Um, so texture-wise, eh, they could be better. The uh, flavor, it's not bad. You really don't get the flavor of the cheese, really. You get mostly the sauce and the bagel itself. Um, and the sauce is kind of a, it's not super sweet. So I've had some tomato sauces that were really, really sweet. This is not like that, but it's also not really savory either. It's just right, just like a basic tomato sauce with uh, not a lot of seasonings in it, but not a lot of sweetness either. Um, yeah, flavors are just kind of bland, kind of boring, um, kind of plain. They're not bad by any means. They're not awesome. They're not horrible. They're, they're just kind of in the middle. So I'm gonna give these a three out of five, you know, right in the middle of the road. Um, they're, they're your average pizza food. Um, if they were in the oven, they would probably be a little bit better because you're gonna get a little bit better texture, but it's still not gonna change the flavor any really. And the flavor is just kind of plain. So you probably want to put your own stuff on them if you had them at home. Like put put a big old hunk of pepperoni right in the middle of each one of them and uh, and then eat them that way. Of course, then you just have pepperoni ones. But um, yeah, three out of five for me. Hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.